gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to the old family farm here in Farming Simulator 19. Um, it's the morning after our, our, our little harvest. Um, not actually sold any of the crops that we harvested yesterday. I've only sold the straw. So we will be doing some crop selling um, in a little, in a short little while. Um, we have got weeds grown on the field, but the we the fields are harrowed and fertilised. I did that off camera. Um, I also tried off camera, you know, to delete the um, slightly dodgy floating um, trees that were in this area, and I have successfully managed to remove those. However, it looks like over here a couple of trees have reappeared on this bit, which was unintentional. Um, I also took the opportunity whilst I was in the area to get rid of the car that was in this area, that old knackered car, so I can actually put something good in this area. And also, I removed that building that was here. In this area. So if I wanted to, I could expand um, this field some more. Um, but yeah, for some reason, using the editor has caused some very weird issues in game. Because um, I'm pretty sure that tree didn't exist. Uh, I mean. If we just go back to the road a minute, all the trees have reappeared down here, look. All of them. And I took out like every other one. Um, so unless I go back into the editor and, uh, and I think that tree there has reappeared. I think, don't think that one, I think I cut that one down, possibly, um, I'll have to have a check, but yeah, it seems in my attempt to remove a few trees from here, the ones that were floating on this hillside, and a couple of the ones that were floating sort of over here, uh, some of them have grown back. <laughs> so I'll have to cut them down again. It's not going to be too much of a problem. We are going to get some money for doing so. It's just weird. Right, first things first, before we start even contemplating crops today, uh, we need to get rid of the um, pallets of eggs because they have uh, all filled up and are now blocking the chicken coop. So the first job this morning shift all four pallets of eggs to the uh, store and sell them. I could have sworn this area here was more, um, didn't think I had as much grass there either. Weird. Perhaps I should have opened the mod. Rather than just the i3D. Right. Can't pick two up at a time, unfortunately, with this. But we will be back. Once we've sold them all. So yeah, those trees are going to be a bit of a nuisance when I come to do my seeding and stuff. Though some people will say adding, having them magically grow back is... um. 
is nice. Eight thousand five hundred and seventy-five for eggs. Not bad. Not bad. So we should get about thirty-two grand then, just from selling of the eggs. I have to take the other front one first. Come back for the other two. Definitely not sure why those um, trees reappeared. <laughs> Maybe it's because they're in the original i3D file. And when it's reloaded, when I've changed it, the file, edited the file to delete the other trees, it's gone, hmm. These weren't present in your existing map. We will re-add them. Failing to recognise the fact that I chopped them, chopped them down. But at least it's still kept my fields. It hasn't made any changes to my fields or anything. And it hasn't put hedgerows back, which is nice. It did put a tree um, in by the... Uh, Oh, that's not very useful. Now I can't get into that pallet behind. Probably should have moved them all out first. do that in a minute. Whoa! Uh, note to self, pallets don't stick to forks. Oh, there goes the mailbox. <laughs> I don't think anybody posters anything anyway these days. So what I'll do is I'll shove them two um, boxes out of the the fill zone. And then we can just um, dispose of them at our leisure. one way of doing it <laughs> and then we'll get four fresh pallets spawning in there
So I will come back and sell that one random egg pallet. We'll get rid of that as well. And then we'll do some uh, crop selling, make a bit of money. As I say, the fields are ready to, to plant. They are cultivated, they are fertilised. I fertilised them with solid fertiliser. I then cultivated them with the power harrow. And I'm hoping when I plant, um, we'll get second stage call to uh, second stage fertilization as a direct result because and it'll save me having to spray them when the crops are growing but that's something I've never do done before so it's going to be testing in theory it makes sense in theory it should make sense with applying two lots of fertilizer the ground state has changed but you never know the giants whether they have coded for that eventuality. Wiggle it. There we go. It's not ideal, but it works. Like I say, we will get some new eggs spawning in there very soon. We've probably made more. We certainly made more money from selling eggs than we did straw. Selling straw was pathetic. Honestly, the straw prices on this map are. Redonkulous. If I had room, I think I would almost go as far as to um, place that that um, barn sale point that I put placed on the Estancia map um, to sell my straw in there direct from the farm rather than selling it to the store first cut out the middleman so to speak because um the prices honestly are dreadful i was getting about just over a what was it a thousand dollars for a full twenty three thousand liter trailer <laughs> you know after half a dozen trailers it was just like this is a waste of time this is a complete waste of my time. <laughs> Clink. Right. Now, if I lost the rear, the, the back wing, I could use this thing for selling. The thing is, what are we going to sell? Um, what have we got a lot of? Wheat? What did we say? A couple of trailers of wheat? Uh, possibly. Maybe some barley? One trailer of barley? Uh, you know, 90 dollars, 90 euros or whatever for a thousand litres of straw, it's rubbish. I know this is normal economical difficulty that seems really harsh. So what I'll do... Drop the rear weight. Because apart from when we um, feed the animals, I don't really use this. And I probably should. So we... The best prices are at the rail line, so we're going to take... Two trailers a week to the rail line and a trailer of barley. Which is more or less what we harvested yesterday. And obviously we get to carry 35,000 litres now. 
in our slightly expanded trailer, which cost me 1,500 to fit new um, panels on to increase the capacity at the workshop, which wasn't bad. How's our animals doing anyway? They need some wheat or some barley. Uh, uh, horses are A-OK. -okay. Rapidly gaining value, up to 32,000 apiece. Which is definitely good money. As I say, by the time we finish training, there'll be 50 grand apiece. <laughs> so, to the rail line, which is just up here. Twenty nine grand. I'll do three more trailers like that. Be quite happy. Pay off a bit more of the loan. Still have enough money in the bank account. Start buying. Well, we said we was going to get pigs next, didn't we? I'm not decided yet about um, cows whether they're something I want to add to the uh, the farm or not this will leave us with 53,000 litres of wheat in the um, silo Come back, grab the trailer full of barley, take that down and sell it. The rest of the crop we'll keep for the time being. busy watching matey in the white shirt not looking to see where I'm going Nicely. And then finally we'll get ourselves a trailer full of barley. Won't that be nice? Hire a tractor with a front PTO. <laughs> and hire a brooks and come and cut these trees down again <laughs> make some money from wood chips <laughs> oh, uh, 
that. Yeah, we'll have a full trailer load of barley. Look at the dust coming off it, look. I'm not sure if I'm going to move on to planting today. Whether I make a start on it or whatever. Whether I just plant, replant the fields off camera. Um, whether today we just focus on some non field work. <laughs> an area uh, a good bit of money this should sell for more than the wheat because it was slightly better priced so I should get over over 30,000 for all this about the same so did the price go down then not really a lot in it is there uh, canola's worth a bit but I don't have a lot of it oats are worth quite a bit soybeans are good value as always but anyway I'm quite happy 130 grand in the account We'll go and uh, pay 30 of that straight on to the loan at the uh, cash point. <laughs> Dolores doesn't have online banking, unfortunately. She has to use the uh, hole in the wall to do all her transactions. Pay 30 grand, we said, didn't we? Okay, I've repaid 35. <laughs> it's a little bit more than I wanted to, but hey ho. What lessens that in nightly interest? Tempt it. Right then, we're going to have a drive over to where the pigs live. And we'll see if I can buy some piggies. Oh, I'm worried about the fields. They've only got weeds growing on them. Uh, so straw goes in there. Water in there. Food round here, which isn't a problem for me. Um, we've got the uh, manure and slurry and everything back there. Right. Let's buy some pigs. How many pigs do we want? Uh, let's have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? Ten pink pigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to be 16. Uh, I've gone too many. Gone one too many black pig. Let's 
So I should have 40 pigs. Right. We need to go get these fully um, appeased now with all their uh, stuff and things. So we'll go grab straw. Might as well use this trailer as we can get the most stuff in it. Now, we spent all that, most of our money again, didn't we? I don't think 40 pigs will exactly need um, 35,000 litres of straw. But we can fill the horses up with a little bit on the way back and uh, we could take it to the uh, shop and sell some. Although it's not really worth doing because the price is rubbish. I tell you what, I am seriously giving thinking thought to opening my own little farm shop. Having my own little place to sell crops to here on the farm. bad. Yeah, quite a bit of it. The straw. So it's the food and stuff we've really got to get into it. I don't have things like sugar beets and potatoes. That's the only problem. So not going to be massively um, So this is the straw refill point, isn't it? They don't need too much. Uh, the water trailer we'll have to come back for. So what is it pigs need? They need corn, wheat or barley, soybeans, canola or sunflowers, potatoes and sugar beet. Well, we ain't got the bottom three, two. So they won't be having any of that. We have got corn. So they can have, definitely have some corn. I just need to empty this straw out of here somehow. Tip it out the back. It's a bit slower out the grain door. get rid of the stuff. Alright, so we're going to want to fill up with corn first, wasn't it? Don't know if we'll need 35,000 litres, but we'll take it and see. You can always tip the excess back in. I'd rather 
take too much with me, then not enough. If that makes sense. Ideally, I want to be tipping out the right-hand side on this machine whilst um, feeding the pigs and stuff. We're going out the back door. For 40 pigs, 35,000 litres is only just enough. <laughs> they actually eat the whole lot. That is insane. I might end up running a road through, a proper road through here yet. I know I've been planting the wild grass and everything, but if I'm going to be going to the pigs regularly, to maintain their needs I could probably do with um, was it wheat or barley next wasn't it uh, give them barley They're going to want like 35,000 litres of everything. Going to have to plant some, a lot of barley then. Tip side right, there we go. Next thing on the list will be soybeans, canola or sunflowers. I think we'll go for soybeans as they're easy to get hold of relatively. As I say, we don't do um, potatoes or sugar beet at the minute, so the piggies won't get any of that. Unless I top them up with pig food. But even that doesn't give them a great deal, does it? That tends to be more corn-based. When you look, when you put a pallet, a couple of pallets of pig food into um, the pig feeder and see what the breakdown is, and when it's completely empty you know if I put 35,000 litres of pig food in there it won't fill up all the bars soybeans then we need to come back and give them water
Yeah, it's, like I say, it's weird with them trees, the way those trees pop back in. After I got rid of them. Very weird with the editor. Normally when you make changes in the editor, it's done dusted. Look at all the piggies, there's spotted piggies, there's black piggies, pink piggies. Should be what is all what was the white there's white piggies apparently or I haven't seen many white piggies. All plain white. I've seen pink ones. And again, I know people say in the comments, oh, you've messed up by, you're slowing the reproduction rate and everything by having different um, pig colours. You should just have one coloured pig, one type of pig. Yeah, on this playthrough, I'm not bothered about that. I, I, well, realistically, I don't want them reproducing rapidly, do I? Because um, <laughs> they, they would cost me a fortune in food. <laughs> Ideally, I want them to be producing a lot for me in terms of manure and slurry. Like I say, I will get a um, manure cell point somewhere on the farm. Uh, I'm going to water the horses while we're here. Because I'm guessing then that 40 pigs, as soon as I've drank, they've ate 35,000 litres of everything else, are probably going to want close to that in terms of... Um, water. I didn't check to see if there was anywhere closer over there to refill. I should probably have a look. Around that farm whilst I'm there sort of thing. <laughs> Let's see if there is any... Uh, water pens or anything. Oh, sorry, this one goes in the front. Okay, they didn't drink that much. So that's a, that's a nice addition. Like I say, lots of piggies. Have a look. Until I probably buy this land, I probably can't. Aha! But I can't refill from there until we own it. So there is a refill point over here. Can't utilise it. There's the dairy with the milk. Oh, I can fill up from there, look, with water as well as I'm driving through. Interesting. Nice, right, so we'll take this back to the main farm then. Like I say, if I do get the field seeded, I will do that off camera in a little while. Uh, pull this water tank back.
pick up my rear weight. <laughs> Don't forget that. In case I decide to do bales and stuff. Clink. So there we go. Our chickens are producing eggs once again. I do need to give them some wheat and barley at some point. Uh, pigs are at 95% productivity. They won't be any higher than that because we don't have the 5% for the potatoes and sugar beet, which honestly, the potatoes and sugar beet seems quite stingy. Um, only 5% because they are quite a flipping pain in the, uh, pain in the backside, aren't they? To um, farm. Because you need special machinery to harvest it, expensive machinery to harvest. They're not the fastest bits of kit either. Right. So we've added another element to the farm. We now have pigs who are going to produce manure and slurry. Which means potentially... Where was it? That was new today. That This was released on the Mod Hub for about five minutes, this hayloft. And um, then it got took down for whatever reason. It might be because it's got 2,500,000 2, litre capacity on hay and straw. Whereas um, the default game one only has 250,000. So they probably wanted to make it match. Although I think, based on the price, the fact that it's 150 grand as opposed to 90 grand, I would sooner have the two and a half million capacity. I mean, the extended bar mod that I currently use has a one million capacity, and it stores hay, grass, straw, silage, chaff, forage, and wood chips. Na, 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 na. So miscellaneous. I'm thinking of, like I say. I'm either going to add that, so I can sell straw myself somewhere here on the farm. I could probably add it in back here now. Now I've got rid of that car. Put it in somewhere like that. Providing I can get out with a trailer at that end. <laughs> get in and drive through it with a trailer. I could add something like that and we could sell our straw and that directly. Or... I want something like that, don't I? For selling the manure. Maybe chuck that down on here, where I deleted that other building. It's a bit close to our water source, but... Sort of out of the way. The only other place is somewhere maybe over here. Pigs are. Put it somewhere here. Here. 
somewhere very close to where the manure actually is so I don't have to take it miles to sell it and get rid of it um, so this lets you buy it but I'm not sure I want to buy manure any other thing I was thinking again was maybe that so I can sell products basically have my own like um, farm shop thing place that up here might have to take out the hedgerow and that but I could definitely see me putting that in and then I can always sell I mean we could sell slurry then and manure and stuff via this as well as other bits and pieces if the uh, in-game prices get a bit too stingy we could sell our straw and everything um, so that's something to consider as well um, just have to have a bit of a think won't I about it all but I think that's gonna be this episode because we're at 47 odd minutes now and that's a little bit getting a bit on the long side so thank you all for watching i hope you've enjoyed something a little bit different today in the terms of getting the next lot of animals in and getting them set up and the pigs hopefully they will become quite a nice addition to the farm along with the horses and the chickens i will get the uh the fields planted now off of camera so you don't have to sit and watch me planting and seeding and um, I'll then be back with another video very soon. Goodbye for now.